All right, guys, so I want to show you how to get everything to match and then how to do, to have things ready so that when you have your food truck and you're ready to decorate it, you can upload your logo and your menu onto it. So let's say your logo is this Tasty Freeze logo, and I've already gone and I picked out a menu, which says um, Melt Pops. So I want the words Melt Pops, I want that to say Tasty Freeze, and I want my color, my pink color. Right now it's a pink, but it's not the right shade of pink. This one's more of a darker pink, and this one's a lighter pink. So if I go to the logo, you can toggle back and forth. When I go to here and I select the Tasty Freeze, which is pink, I could have clicked on here also, and I click on text color. If I, this is selected, this pink color, if I click on the plus sign, it's going to give me the code to make that pink color. So I'm going to copy this, I'm gonna go back to the menu, I'm going to highlight what I want to change, click text color, and this time I'm going to paste in that pink color, it's like a raspberry-ish, and now I have that color, it matches. I can do the same thing with the green, so if I click on the green on the pop school, click on the color, if I click this plus button, green is selected, so that's the color for green, I copy that, I come over here, I want the, these dripping things to be green. So I click on them, I click on this color, and I paste the green in there and select it. And now it's there and I can work with it. And I would also make this green and all these light pink, I would go in and change and make like this darker pink. So let's say I already did that with the bottom too. So when you go to print something, or excuse me, not print, but to download, you can click on this download button. Make sure that it says um, PNG. If you save it as a PDF, we can't use it. It won't be in your download. And that just happened to me and I was confused. So make sure you're saving it as a picture image, just PNG. Now it's going to be saved in my downloads along with the logo that I already um, had saved. So now I'm gonna come over into one of my food trucks let me open up a blank one that I was working with earlier. Click this one. And I want my logo on there and all that stuff. So I can go to upload. And I'm going to upload my logo and my image. We'll do our, my logo first. Which should be in my downloads. I was in my wrong thing. Right there, Tasty Freeze. And I'm also gonna upload the menu. Looks pretty cool actually. And you can choose to put these wherever. I'm going to put this Tasty Freeze. We can um, shrink it down. We can crop it a little bit. And I kind of want that right there on the back of my truck. That looks cool. You can position it. You can also move the picture around with your arrow keys. And then I'm going to go in and put my menu on. And I can put my menu here. I can also duplicate it, and I can put it here, put it wherever, wherever you want, and just jazz the truck up, make it look cool. Um, we can also, this is kind of neat, so if I want to write the word Tasty Freeze across the top of my truck, I would go to text, add a little bit of text, I'm going to move this here, and I wonder, oh yeah, I'm gonna write Tasty Freeze. I'm gonna probably have to make that a little bit smaller, but I would change the color to be that pink color, which I might have to go find again. Copy, paste, I'm gonna make it that pink color. And I'm also going to change the font. This font, I forgot about that the last time. This font is called Alike. So I would want to highlight that. And I can just type that in under Search Fonts. And now I have the same font. I would just have to resize that. Which reminds me that on my menu, I would actually go, see how these are different fonts? Totally forgot about that. I would change this to that alike font as well. Okay, so I hope this helps get you started. 
Remember, you want the logo to match, the food truck to match, the menu to match, and eventually we will make the website match as best as we can. All right, thanks guys, and I hope you do a good job working today.